Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Auto Repair Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Walker. I'm doing a solo cast today. It's just going to be me. It's going to be a fairly short podcast episode where I've got a question for you. Are you eating your own dog food? But first, let me thank our sponsors. Thank you to our friends at RepairPal for this episode. RepairPal will introduce your shop to new customers through RepairPal.com, the largest site for auto repair. Learn more at RepairPal.com forward slash shops. All right, so that sounds like a strange question. Do you eat your own dog food? The, the expression about eating your own dog food, it came from a company that they manufactured dog food, and they were so confident in their product and how good their product was and how healthy their product was for your dog that they were willing to eat it themselves, and they used that in their marketing. They would say, we eat our own dog food. But it applies across the board for pretty much every business. If you look at my business, my business is marketing. Every single service that we do for our clients, we use it in our own marketing. And it's because we believe in it. I can't say the same for a lot of our competitors. If you go look at what a lot of the auto repair shop marketing companies are doing on social media, it's not much. You go look at how they perform in search. You know, go do a search for auto repair shop marketing and see who comes up first. One of the youngest companies amongst the entire group. And some of the others, they don't come up on page one at all. And it is because they don't do for themselves what they do for their clients. And what does that say about them? And, and this isn't about marketing companies today and, and what are marketing companies are using their own service. This is about you. This is about your business. Your business is auto repair. So I want you to think about something. What kind of condition are your loaner cars in? Do they have malfunction indicator lights of any kind on? Are the brakes squealing? And, you know, you say, well, Brian, what does this have to do with marketing? Well, marketing is anything that makes an impression on somebody about who you are as a business. You know, how, how good you are. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's anything that makes an impression about your business on someone else. And you, you got to think about these things. What kind of shape are your loaner cars in? What about your shop truck? You know, most, most shops have a truck that they use for going and getting parts. And I've seen some that are in terrible condition. I've seen some really nice ones also. But what is, what is your shop's shop truck? Like, what, what is the condition that it is in? And what does it say about your business? And it's easy for business owners to make the excuse, you know, they say, oh, well, you've heard the expression, the cobbler's kids have no shoes. And, hey, it's an old expression, and it, it proves true in a lot of cases. But it's just an excuse. That's all it is. If you truly believe in what it is that you do, if you tell, the, if you tell your clients that they should be doing oil changes every 5,000 miles, how often are you changing the oil in your own vehicles? How about those... BG products and WINS products that you sell to people. Do you use them in your own vehicles? Do your technicians use them? Do your service advisors use them? Because you want to sell more of that stuff. You want to know the way that you sell more of that stuff is you get complete buy-in from the people on your team. Look, my shop was a BG shop. I believe in their products. I think they have amazing products. I have personally seen the car that comes in running rough. You do the injection system cleaning and the induction system cleaning and watch how smooth that engine gets. But if you have someone on your team that they haven't experienced that, they may believe that it's just snake oil. And if they believe it's snake oil, they're not going to be likely to sell it. So you got to think about these things. What kind of shape are your technicians' vehicles in? And you might say to yourself, well, there's not a whole lot that I can do about that, Brian. 
But the fact is there, there is a lot that you can do about that. You want your technicians to be driving vehicles that are in good condition because if their neighbors and their friends are seeing their vehicle constantly broken, constantly having to be fixed, then what do they think about your shop? So what can you do about that? You know, can you make sure that you are allowing your technicians to work on their own vehicles after hours, that they have use of the shop? that they can buy parts at cost. Maybe it's a new tech getting their start. Young technician, I think about the vehicles I drove when I was young. Oh man, some of them were pretty rough. But maybe you can help them out to get their vehicle in good condition. And I'm not talking about doing a restoration or anything. I'm just talking about getting it, you know, where it's in good dependable condition and you can look at it and say, "Okay, I'm I'm okay with that representing my shop because it does represent your shop. So that's just something that I want you to, to really put some thought into is, are you eating your own dog food? Are you doing the things for your vehicles, for your technicians, vehicles, you know, your shop vehicles, are you doing the things that you're selling your clients or are you being a hypocrite? And I know you're not intentionally, you know, if you're, if you're not doing these things, I know you're not intentionally being a hypocrite, but you kind of being a hypocrite. So that's my advice today. Eat your own dog food and see how that impacts your business. So thanks again for listening to the Auto Repair Marketing Podcast on Aftermarket Radio Network. There's some other great shows on the network, and you can find them at aftermarketradionetwork.com or on your favorite podcast listening apps like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and many others. Tune in for another episode next week. And until then, go fill those bags.